So protecting the officers whose job it is to protect and serve is a major theme of this year's conference. So much so that today's plenary session was absolutely packed on the subject of looking after officers. Chief, thank you very much, first of all, for taking the time to talk to us today. Appreciate that. Thank you. So uh, tell us why you're at this session. Uh, the session today is violence against police and uh, it was I'm the chief of police of Oak Creek, Wisconsin, where we in, on August 5th had the Sikh temple shooting uh, where the individual came in, killed six members of the temple, shot one of our officers 15 times and, and was shot himself by one of our officers. Uh, so it directs, uh, re relates directly to this as far as our officer being shot. This individual uh, was not trying to leave, he wasn't trying to get away, he went directly towards the police and engaged them. But what, what can you learn from a, a shocking incident like this? There's a lot of things that we're taking away from it from a training aspect, things we can do better. Um, we had an active shooter in 2004. We learned from that one and implemented some things that actually helped this situation. But we also learned in training. This individual acted almost like the police do when we train for active shooters. He took it to this shooter who would, was the police officer. Usually they run from us, hide, do something like that, try to get away, and we learned, we never trained for someone to actually bring the fight to us. Um, so that's something we're going to change in how we do things. So tell us uh, why you're at this session today. Well, this is about preventing violence on police officers, and I'm gonna talk about one of my own troopers uh, on, a, on a, just your basic DWI, drive while intoxicated, drive while impaired traffic stop, and it turned into a, to a deadly encounter. Uh, luckily, my, my state trooper uh, was only slightly injured, uh, two deputies uh, in, in a parish state and in Louisiana, so very much trained and, and, and doing things the right way, came up and actually saved his life and was able to shoot and hit the assailant. So I'm going to talk about that today and, and put it into perspective. As a, as a superintendent, as a colonel, I, I, can, I can tell you how it happened. I can tell you what happened. Why did it happen? You know, here, here's a mother that's got four kids that she's going to have to deal with and, and grow up without their dad, who was simply doing his job a public safety police officer. I mean, we, we as, as citizens, we just want to feel safe. And I think what we have to talk about today is we have to take those whys that we know about and we have to, we have to look, okay, what, what preceded that why? Right. Look at the how and the what. What preceded that why? And we've got to reduce those. And it's all about training. It's also the mindset of those police officers to know that it could happen at any moment. And they'll see that today. Well, thank you ever so much indeed. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.